Hey guys, Grassman here, playing a game called, um, Water pu Water Sort Puzzle. It's one of these crappy water games. I've turned airplane on mode on, because I assume there's going to be tons of ads. <laughs> okay, I'll turn airplane mode on, and we'll get other notifications instead. Great. Um, it's one of these games. We're going to play it. I'm only going to do one. You know, it's one of these, like, crappy games. Um, what's the most efficient way? I'm put it down by double tapping. What's the best way we can do this? One, two. No, because there's an orange under it. Hmm. Oh, I literally can't. Okay. That actually adds some complexity onto this. So I literally can't pour different water waters on top of each other, even, even just temporarily. Here, everything is just like straightforward. There we go. Not gonna do any sort of rating BS. You can already see, like, in the bottom there where the ad is supposed to go. So, I have to dump the red every somewhere anyway. The yellow could go somewhere else. Oh, there's already yellow on top, so I'm gonna have to, like, at least dump that one yellow, in which so then there's gonna be a sp spot for another yellow anyway. So I have to dump that yellow to open the other ones. I already have a red bottom space. I don't know why I'm trying to like do this so efficiently. Dump that there. Red can go there. Let me just do all this. There we go. Oh, God. I hate this. I'm gonna have to empty, like, the entire vial, hey? I can still draw estimates, though. There's a red somewhere deeper. So now I can pour that out. That goes there. That can go in the bottom. I'm going to almost certainly have to dump the red out at some point anyway. Okay, there's the red. And the last one's orange. Yeah, that was like... This game's actually kind of fun. Good thing I turned on airplane mode. Oh, it, it already moved. I didn't even realize. Um, okay. We have to dump this because there's the red underneath it. But now we can just put... Red into there. Finish the green. Um, we're gonna have to remove the pink. Oh, there's a better spot to put it. Not really. The pink and orange overlaps, there wasn't really a better spot to put it. We would have had to move one regardless. There we go. Just gonna, just gonna keep asking that. How long do we play this for? Okay, um... We have a pink base, we have no yellow base, so we have to create a yellow base. We do have a blue base. Dump some of these in here. Uh, we have no red base, so we also have to create a red base. Now we have a green base. Put that in there. Now we can fill our blue base. I think I'm doing everything here right, exactly, at least. That can go there. 
That goes there. Put in, please. Fill the red. And then there. There we go. Yeah, it just changes over so fast. Okay, so we have uh, an orange base, but we have orange on top of it. We're going to have to pour out. We have no other orange base option, so we have to pour that out. And we have to pour the pink. We could pour the pink somewhere else, so I'll leave it for now, though. Um, we have no red base, so we have to create a red base. We do a blue option, so I can pour that there, and that into there. Um, we have a green base option, but not before the blue has to go somewhere. I think that the best is to make everything just one movers. The second best would be to have to, like, pour twice, two at once. So, like, looking at this... Um, nothing else on top is yellow or red. The pink base can only open by putting on blue. The green base can also only open by putting on blue, and because the green and blue are reversed, we're gonna have to do something like this. No, because there's a yellow under there anyway. Thing is, I can't pour the green anywhere else. Hmm. Can I just find, like, the best method here? If I pour the green... So I can't pour the green... If I pour the blue, I still have to pour the green on top, just to then pour it out later. So I have to do, I have to do this twice. Now pour that there, then this one goes back. Now this one goes back. That's like bad twice, but it's okay. Now we just finish everything one by one. There we go. Okay, we have two red bases, uh, no orange base, so let's get to work on that. We have two pink bases as well. Um, we have no blue base, so let's pour this into here. Add to that. Get on our green base. Or we already have, we get on the, pour into the green. Um, pink is blocking a lot of what we can do right now. I can stall it though. With that, now we have the pink base. So I can pour into those to unclog them. And there we go. Okay, another hidden one. Are these already like five levels or so? So there are a lot of hidden grays. Maybe it's better to like do ones that have more. So maybe I'll make a green base. So we know that's not a light blue one, a, a light blue base. Just stall for now, though. Okay, well, we found them all. Can stall again. Am I soft locked? I think I might be. I can't pour into any of the top ones. I can only pour into the bottom ones. I'm soft locked. Okay, so start with these ones, then. Make bases for what I have a lot more of. So for now, make a base for the blue. And then that gives me a base for dark blue. Oh yeah, now it's just rolling out. Okay, we have a bottom for pink. We have no bottom for the orange one yet. I need a base for red. How many of these are empty? Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So two are empty. So that means there's seven colors in total. I've only got a base for four of them at the moment. Orange, red, and gray don't. For now, I'm going to stall with the red. Uh, I can pour that in there. And gray again. I'd rather create a base for gray before I start pouring for it. There we go. I still have a. I do have a base for orange now. Finish into the pink, and then dark blues below this. No. Okay. Um. Put red all into here, and then dark blue up here. Okay. We're getting more and more complicated. 
So we have no base for green. Uh, we do have a base for light blue. But the light blue, orange... The orange wants to go there, but the gray is under the light blue. And the light blue is on top of the orange. Those three, three are kind of locked together. Is there something else I can go, go to first? I think pouring out the light blue is my best option, unless I want to reroute where... Unless I want to reroute oranges, but then it takes more, so I think moving light blue is the best option. Wait. Um, maybe it wasn't. I can empty both of these, though, so I think we're fine. Got a spot for pink to go. Blue, dark blue I preferably want on the left. I have nowhere for red, so I need an empty vial for red. It's actually like a decent puzzle game once you like get rid of the ads. Hmm. Everything covering me is red. Am I soft? I'm not soft locked, am I? Damn. I think I am. Ah, shoot. Okay. Well, if we have to move blue anyway, let's do that sooner. We also have to make one for red, so let's do that sooner. Uh, dark blue, we're gonna have to like stall one way or another because we're not—we don't have anywhere to put the that yet, so we can't put blue anywhere. Yeah, we'd have to do it on the right, but that's gonna need a a gray spot and a red spot. We don't have anywhere for that. Let's do really light green first, but we don't have a way to make an open vial. So, st so, stall that. Now empty the gray. Red down there. Um. Damn, it's the oranges. The only place I can pour an orange is an empty vial. I don't have an empty vial. Okay, I'm not quite, because I can do this. That was kind of close, though. I have to remove this orange at some point, one way or another. I'm put it back in, though. I need to remove the green. That there. Oh, I can do multiple at once. I'm that would have been nice to know. Okay, and we're getting simpler. Maybe it's more knotted though. Okay, well green needs a spot to go. Pink also needs a spot to go. Dark blue can go there. Pink can go there. Oh, I can just like quick tap through it. Um. Okay, red's gonna need a temporary place to go. While I dump the orange and then dump red back. Orange all goes green there. Orange there. There we go. Okay, next level. Uh, we have bases for a lot of stuff. How many colors are there? Two, three, four, five, six. There's seven colors. There's no dark blue base. We have nowhere for dark blue anyway. We're going to have to pour this out at some point. So we may as well do that now. Is dark blue in any way locked? I'd like to get the green out of there so I can start putting orange in. Um, red also has no base, so if I can create a red base. Uh, it looks like green and dark blue are locked with each other. So I have to move dark blue, so yeah, one of them has to move. Okay. 
Okay, open that. Those go there. Orange goes there. Pink goes down there. Dark blue now goes there. Opens the red. Opens the green. No, opens the green that way. Opens the orange. Dark blue. Red. Gray. Pink. And light blue. Dark blue doesn't need a base, so if I want to do this most efficiently, orange doesn't, uh, there's seven colors. Gray's taking two, though, and red's taking two. Green has no base. Um, this is gonna be moved anyway at some point. Ah, uh, fuck, what have I done? This is my only move, and then I'm soft locked. Not quite. You fool, you thought you could soft lock me. I won't be soft locked that easy. This is probably like very inefficient now because I'm moving stuff around so much. Light blue has no base. Um. If I do this, I can get that out of there, pour these into there. Light blue needs a base. And then there we go. Sweet. Yeah, this game's fun. Okay, level 15, then we're done. So let's immediately do this so we can, like, discover two more. Pink's, uh, green's gonna have to go from there yet. I'll pour that into there. That into there. Orange can go in the bottom. You know, red can go in there. Uh, it's not the bottom of anything yet. What are we missing? We're missing a blue and two pink and an orange. And the blue is in one of the other ones. So if I open this, we'll get something we can dump into one of the other ones. Then we create a blue base. Pink goes there. A green base. Now we do the last two. Okay, well, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, remember, if you enjoy my content, be free, feel free to like and subscribe. Um, this game is pretty, pretty. This is a good puzzle game. Um, not for the ads. So, I, I assume there are ads. There's that giant like blank void in the bottom, and I assume that's ads. I turned on airplane mode soon enough though. So, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. If you enjoy my content, be free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.